um, Hacienda Luisita. Okay. Um, a lot of people think that uh, one reason carp failed is because of the SDO or stock distribution option. So um, it is also seen that um, SDO has been able to keep farmers out of uh, their land. The main the beneficiary seem to be your own family. So, um, and in the end, farmers still receive barely anything from what they have put into Hacienda Luisita. Do you think this is right? And uh, what will you do different as president uh, that will give the balance of power and justice towards the farmers? Ma'am, there are so many assertions you made, and if I were to go point by point, I think we will consume the entire time. Your first, first idea, though. Uh, my critics tell us, parang kapit to kami to sa lahat. So there has to be economic value for us to be happy to go to the land. I think we'll you agree. Yung, if we were to sell the land, we go back. Nagaling natin STO, and I think that's still an option for my family at this point in time. Seventy percent of, of that belongs, belongs still belongs to the land. Sorry. If we go back to before STO, all of it belongs to us. We then a, a means whereby it's a bit called the voluntary offer to sell. May better lang sa gobyerno. Even at a hundred, Pesos per square meter, it's about 4,500 hectares in question. It's 10,000 square meters per hectare. That's about 4.5 billion pesos that will go into our pockets. Okay, by selling it, I have it, bala na kayo dyan. Okay. So that will take care of the debt that we owe. We meaning, we as a family and we as a stockholders of our government to sell it. So kung pera na po pinag-uusapan dito, it would behoove us to just say, voluntary offer to sell it lang. Ayos pa ako politically. But if we do that, you know, these farmers, who farmer beneficiaries, who number 10,000, will be the ones dividing 4,500 hectares. Okay? Hindi ho duwa po yata in less than one hectare for a single individual to be born. On top of that, we amortize in payment for the land over the next number of years. So, even further pa natin, itong farmer beneficiary, who used to be ano, a farm worker for me. So, our parents, our grandparents also, told us, hindi naman sila iba sa amin. Pwede kami, again, ang ulitin ko, economically, politically, it is wise for my family to say, oh, voluntary offer to sell, bye-bye. Pero pag ginawa namin doon, yung konsensya aspect na, yung mga bahala na kayo sa buhay doon, at ano parang panakikita naman na napakahirap ng iiwang sa tasyo sa kanila, nakaka-guilty po yun. So, what, 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 what have I done? I've asked my, my extended family, to, uh, to find ways and means whereby we can transfer the asset free of them. And then, if I am president, chapter number one, I have to divest. No? Number two, yung the, yung I want a greater reform to get to the next level. If you remember, your CARP is supposed to be a 10-year program. It has already been a 20-year program. It has been extended for another 5-year program. Yung, from transfer of ownership of the land, should have a finite quantity. Alam mo yung ilang lupa kailangan ilipat, alam mo kung sa kanilang ililipat, imamatch mo yung dalawa, may beginning, may end. Okay. Pag ay nakabot ko, baka punta na tayo sa end ng distribution. Bakit? Dahil yung lahat ng resources na ginugugol, all of the funds that are being utilized in the program, can go into agricultural extension services, can go to irrigation, can go into real farm to market also, can go into so many things that will allow each farmer beneficiary to be able to maximize this asset that was transferred to them. But, you know, no, you people who have been criticizing us have not actually been affording any solution. Merely throwing the land to them. No? Parang kanyan, oh, these are assets, these are our stocks. Ay, oh, by the way, nga pala, about 0.004% of HLI. So I have to convince the 0.996 no, of, of anything. And that includes 10,000 farmer businesses. But anyway, schemes, yeah? transfer the land to them debt-free. I have to get all the 10,000 to agree so on, on that particular scheme. Then afterwards, the government can help can help uh, whatever scheme that they agree to. But again, throw them the land, bahala na kayo sa buhay nyo, wala yung credit, wala yung extension, at tulang yung lupa. And assuming pare-pareho productivity ng lupa, which is not the case. There is very good land. There is land that is not fertile, no matter what you do. So, kung tingin nga yung lupa mo, lalabas pa nun, para magbibigay sa yung lupa na walang kaya tumubo, na palibar na po. Paano natin, paano naging mas maganda sitwasyon sa kanya? And, 
uh, we keep saying to our brother and sisters that they were workers. There were never any tenants ever since we got there. From 1958 to 2004, we had, we not have to say that it's so good that we get back to where we were. Ayaw na rin po ng pamilya na na dagdag na lang dagdag na utang sa akin po na hindi naman makita yung potensya na hindi na. So yung transfer na huwag hilipat na yung burden sa akin na. Huwag gawin yung mission impossible yung para magkaroon sa isang buhay. Yun lang po yung nakakulang ko. 